Our story today is called the mitten. Can you show me what a mitten looks like? Aubra, what's a mitten look like? Show me a mitten. How do your hands go in a mitten? They go like this. How do your hands go in a glove? This is called a mitten. Who, had, who got to play outside in the snow Monday or Tuesday? Me. I did. Did you get to play in the snow? No, me. No, you didn't. Well, this I is, got to. You got to? But a few times. A few times, that's but good. I played a one time. That's day. pretty cool. I played a day. One day you got out to go outside. We're going to talk about Mati, who gets to play outside a lot. Yes, London? Um, my, when, when me and my girl were like that, this morning, we saw snow. Yeah, I want to be sure everybody can see. It's called The Mitten by Jan Brett. And this is one of my favorite authors. She writes and illustrates a lot of books. So one of the things you're going to want to look at are the little pictures over here, okay? Brisa, are you ready? Can you see what is there? Good. <gasps> one day, or once there was a boy named Nicky. It's not Mati this time. It's Nicky. A boy named Nicky, just like my son. And he wanted mittens as white as snow. Why did he want mittens white as snow? Anybody know? Um, what do mittens do? Mittens do this. They keep your hands warm. And he was outside. If you drop a white mitten in the snow, it will be hard to find, his grandmother told him. But Nicky wanted some snow white mittens so much that his baba, his abuelita, made them for him. So now he has his beautiful white mittens. And when she finished knitting the mittens, Nicky put on the mittens and he went outside to play. And look, did he put them on his hands? No. Look carefully, because it's very, very tiny. Don't oh, they put it there? No. He put them in his pocket. In his pocket. And guess what happened? Double One down. of them fell down. Right there in the snow. Come on over, Peter, if you want to see closer. A little mole. Whoops, where's that little mole? See that little, little animal right there? A I little mole. Okay, it. sit down, Brisa. Can't put this. If that's okay, you can sit right there. A tiny little mole found the mitten. And do you know what that tiny little mole did? It was cold outside, so the little mole climbed inside <coughs> the mitten. <gasps> and then next, a rabbit came hopping by, and he wiggled in to the mitten next to the mole. He thought, boy, that's a good idea. I'm going to stay warm, too. So he wiggled into the mitten next to the mole. And then, look, what is that funny animal? Let me show it to you right here. See that funny animal right there? That's called a hedgehog. A hedgehog. A hedgehog. And the hedgehog looked at the mitten and the rabbit and the mole and said, oh, what a great idea. I'm going to join you. Brisa, what is Verily? Can you see them right there? What's the next animal that's going to come in? Can you see what that is? You can owl. see that animal. Owl. An owl. Very good. My legs are hurting. I'm sorry. I need to crisscross out. I'll say owl. Thank you. The owl didn't want to be left out, so the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog had to move over inside that mitten. What's happening to the mitten? <laughs> <laughs> What's it doing? You're right, Mia. It's, it's growing. Getting, it's growing. The mitten is growing. Uh, a badger came out of his house, and he saw everybody playing in the mitten, and he thought, oh, I want to play too. Please. So he jumped right in. He said, you can't play. No, he, they said you can play. They said you can come inside the mitten too. And then a great big fox looked at that mitten, and he said, well, if they're nice and warm in there, maybe I could be nice and warm too. So he climbed and a bear. the mitten. Do oh, you think the bear's next, Peter? Good for you, because you're looking at the next picture. <gasps> and then a great big bear sniffed. And, and he said, you can't come in. That's, no. He said, you can't come in, you're too big. Guess what? They let him in. They let the big bear in anyhow. And then as Peter noticed, next came the mouse. The tiny, tiny little mouse. Now, do you think there's room for a mouse in there? Yeah. If they got the bear in, but you know what? The mouse went on top of the bear's nose, right there. And look at that silly mitten. And guess what happened? The mouse got on the bear's nose, and he tickled the bear. And the bear went. <gasps> What's the bear gonna do? Achoo! Achoo! He sneezed, and everybody flew out of the poor mitten. And the mitten flew way up in the air. And as it flew up in the air against the blue sky. Guess who saw his mitten? Nicky saw his mitten in the sky. And he ran over and he picked it up and he went home. And he said to his grandmother, look, I have both my mittens. I still have both my mittens. But when he showed his grandmother his mittens, what did she see? She saw one mitten that was very, very small. 
and she saw one mitten that was very, very big. Big. Very nicely done, you guys. Thank you. We're going to go do our small groups, okay?